Okay, hello, welcome everybody. Steve here from sellthehelper.com and today I'm going to try a new style of video. And for those that don't know, this is specifically uh, for patrons over on patreon.com or forward slash Stephen Beale. The link is below if you want to follow. And basically people ask questions about the Celta course and I respond every fortnight with a YouTube, a detailed YouTube video like this. So this is the first time I'm doing it. And at the moment, I only have one patron. So if you'd like to join, that would be wonderful. And you can help support sellthehelper.com. But I'm gonna answer the questions from that patron right now. So let's get straight into it. Um, this patron asked, and basically she's not got any teaching experience. So she asked about really, what would I recommend as a sort of step-by-step preparation for taking the CELTA course in the coming weeks. So I was having to think about this and what I would say first for people who don't have any experience is actually try to teach to anyone you can before the course. So that could be, and you don't need to have a teaching job, right? That's coming next. That could be maybe if you are a non-native speaker or if you're living in a country where English isn't the first language, could be just teaching to someone you know, a friend perhaps, whose English isn't very good, or maybe someone who's quite good, and try teaching them. And this, the, what you could do is you could just Google like the name of a course book, for example, something like Cutting Edge or New English File, and there's lots of them scanned into SlideShare. Again, uh, have a look slide has got loads of scanned course books and you could just try teaching them a bit from that book you don't need to have the book you don't need to buy anything you could just try it and see how it goes and see what you come up against if you're in a english speaking country you there's lots of opportunities just to volunteer to teach english without a qualification for things like there's many groups in my area with asylum seekers and refugees who are crying out for english language teachers so you would be helping them and you would be helping yourself. So it's a win-win. It doesn't matter if you can't do it, you can still volunteer. Now I know this, I, I believe the patron who asked this is actually in a non-English language country, but anyway. Um, so yeah, try and find someone who will just sit down for 10 minutes and let you teach and see how you feel, see what issues come up, how hard it is, just to get that feel for it before the first day on the CELTA, because you might feel like, you've got no idea what's going on then. So just try and get that experience over and done with and get a bit of practice and write some notes on it perhaps. Um, the next thing I would say then really, and it, it's so dependent on the person, I would say for you, focus on the fear. <laughs> now, what do I mean? If the thought of standing up in front of a group of strangers with someone at the back taking notes to teach English grammar fills you with fear, then start having a look into some of the recommended books on English grammar, reading up online about how to teach it, and focus on that. Some of you, because particularly non-native English speakers, have learnt grammar more directly at school in their own language, so they have a better idea, and then having learnt English, you're more aware of it, so maybe that isn't so scary. If it's something like pronunciation that terrifies you, have a look, start learning the phonemic symbols and so on. Or you could look into the assignments, maybe the academic writing side, or well, it's not that academic, but the writing side is scary. Have a look there as well. So just think which part of the CELTA course most scares you and let that guide your um, preparation as well. <clears throat> Oof. Another thing I would do is try to have a look at the terminology, right? There's lots of different abbreviations throughout the course that you'll see things like CCQs, ICQs, uh, TTT, all these kind of things. Try and find a CELTA glossary. I'm not sure of any one place for it. Maybe I'll have to put one on CELTAhelper.com, but try and get your head around the terminology as well, because it just comes at you thick and fast on the course, and the trainers, they kind of expect you to know it. I mean, they do teach you it, but you don't get much time to take it on board. So I would have a look into that as well, because having a good knowledge of the terminology will certainly help and anything else i suppose try to figure out if um your celta center or what kind of resources they have how big of a library for resources and books and decide whether you want to buy the books or not in advance oh my 
laptop went a bit crazy because you might not need to buy the books or you might need to buy the books depending on your center. So have an email or phone conversation with them to figure out what you need and what you don't. And it really depends. Some centers actually give you a book as part of the package and factor that into the course price and some don't. Uh, that would be the main things I would say to focus on beforehand if you don't have experience. It, you know, it really depends on you, but it's hard to give you a very, very specific list, but I would say those things for sure. And there was one other point as well mentioned about things like games. Um, I'll, I'll try and do a longer blog post on this, but one thing you can, one, well, I talked on the Facebook page, I posted a link to the idea of playing a What Happens Next game based on a simple YouTube video. You take a screenshot, press the print screen button, and you could put that on the screen, maybe in a PowerPoint or something, and um, then make them guess. So something about future forms. There's loads of games you can play, really simple, and you can adapt them in millions of ways to English language teaching. Like, for example, bingo. You can do that with numbers. A simple way is actually yeah, you could. I mean, you can do it with so many different things. You can, if for higher levels, you could do it with phrases instead of just one word to make it a bit harder. Um, lots of like gap fill activities. A lot of a lot of simple games also revolve around just cutting up pieces of paper. So let's say you give them maybe a, a text which has gaps for them to fill, and you can just cut up the answers and put them around the room make the students walk around the room you stick a little piece of paper on the wall different places so they can't see them and they have to move gets them moving gets them out of the seat a bit different and then it also um, makes them think it makes them they have fun usually they're moving around they got a little notepad and so they're reading their note their gap fill text and they're looking at the answers on the wall and the answers on the wall are in no order so they have no idea they just have to go to each one and write the answer in. So instead of just giving them the answers on the page, it takes a bit longer, a bit more fun for them. I mean, there's so many others. You know, you can, hot seat is another one. Someone sits at the front, the words behind them on the board. You could do it with two, one from each team, and all the others have to describe the word. The person can't see it because it would be about here. Really simple, lots of things. Mime, all kinds of stuff, okay? So yeah, I would have a look into more games and I'll try and write, write more on that. So that's it for now. Um, obviously, if there are any more questions coming in on the Patreon page, I'll do that in the next one in two weeks' time. But I'm going to try and do this regularly from now on. Well, I, I am going to as a pledge to the patrons. So if you like this and you would want more, you want your questions answered in detail, check out the link to Patreon below in the description here. And uh, yeah, you can get more detail from me and help the support sell to help us. So remember, if you like this, hit the subscribe button and give us a like, and I will talk to you soon. And best of luck on your Celta journeys. Bye-bye.